What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here, welcoming you to a brand new series on the channel. Today, we're gonna to be kicking off this series with a sponsored video by Valkyria Chronicles 4. This is a super, well, looks like a super cool game. I can't exactly say if it's super cool or not because what this series is, is this is a first impression series where I'm gonna be jumping into new games and playing through about the, uh, the first hour to two hours and giving you guys my first impressions towards the end of the video. Of course, you guys are gonna have an hour, two hour long video. It's gonna be about a 30 minute video, normal length you guys are used to on my channel and there's a bunch of games I have lined up but I really thought it would be incredible to start this off with a sponsored video uh, and Valkyria Chronicles 4 kind of came right along at the exact right time so I was told a little bit uh, we're gonna go with normal I can't play on easy I cannot play an easy uh, I told a little bit that this is a war based tactic game so uh, you guys know I love games that are full of strategy and this happens to uh, fill two really cool genres that I like so I'm hoping that I enjoy this a lot we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. So this series will be perfect for you. If you're not sure if you're interested in a game and you have a game you want to see me play, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Today, of course, we're focusing on Valkyria Chronicles 4. But it was where we grew up. And hopefully my insight uh, will kind of steer you in a direction of if it's a game for you or if it's not. It's kind of the goal of this whole series. Uh, this game looks gorgeous at the, at the least. At the least. We haven't played it yet, but it looks really good. It looks real, real good. Soundtrack is very swelling so far. The music is... Can you pump for something more, maybe? Okay, is that a tank? I think that's a giant... That's a, that's okay, that's a tank. Main character? iPad on the shoulder, I like it. Uh, I love the way... Tech, I, love, I love how technology evolves in games. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. We got a dog! 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Dog within the first minute of the game. Are you kidding me? 10 out of 10. I'm clumsy. This is good. You want someone clumsy going into war with you. I like that. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. So sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, so clumsy, nervous commander. Oh, an angry, sensitive dog. It's way too peaceful. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys, it's go time! Oh my god! <laughs> First sergeant. Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! All right, so Claude Wallace. On the move. Heading for your position. Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line. We're counting on you. Okay. Over. I like how we're in this incredibly colorful field and war's breaking out. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and Okay, we have Kai. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. Raz the Napper. Keep up or get left behind. 100% Raz the Napper. At your command. Sergeant Miles Arbeck. That's no ordinary tank right there. And of course, guys, I'm currently playing this on the Nintendo Switch. However, this is available on major platforms. Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. All right. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out. All right, so we're getting our first mission. We have to eliminate all Imperial hostiles. All set, Raz? Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible. Freaking is this guy's favorite word. 100% Raz and freaking go together. See how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out. Okay, so it, I can't, I mean, obviously, player phase. Okay, now this is familiar. This is familiar to me. Looks like everyone's in position. Right. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's position. Positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here, you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on the terrain and their respective position to the enemy. Move the cursor into Raz and D-pad and use A to switch to action mode. Okay. Let's move over to Raz, which is right here. So we can go ahead and command. Here comes the pain. Got it. Tutorial action. Oh, 
Okay. Selecting a unit switches them to action mode where they can move and attack. Oh, so it's not just direct your units. You actually can control them. Move a unit in action mode with either direction, directional pad or your stick. The AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will slowly deplete while a unit is in motion. Deplete. Once the soldier runs out of AP, they will be left unable to move. Wow, this is so different. So it's a combination of like traditional strategy and then being able to actually control. Okay, so I hold R, I go into target mode. Y will change my gun and I can move like this. Okay, tutorial attacking, here we go. Now that they have moved into position, it's time to attack. Press R while in action mode to enter target mode. Move the crosshairs with the left stick. Press LR to quickly snap between targets. Ooh, okay. Uh, press A to attack. If the enemy survives, they might counterattack, so try to make every shot count. Okay, so hitting R, I was using ZR to aim, and hitting R will go ahead and have this attack. Ooh, surprise attack. To kill seven, shots 20. Okay, so we should be good then. Woo! Item up in the back, that's kind of dirty. I probably should have stayed behind my bunker. Ending actions. Troops can only attack once per action. Once the unit is done in moving and attacking, end the action to return to command mode. Press bleh to end the act. Bleh can end a unit's action even if that unit has left over AP or has not yet attacked. Okay, pressing B can also end your action, in which case a confirmation prompt will appear. Use whichever method you prefer. I think I'm used to hitting B and then end ending the current action. That's gonna be what I do instead of using the D-pad. Okay, so now we're back in command mode. These assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Mmm, rise. You're invincible, right? Okay, she's gonna be my favorite. She's gonna be my favorite. Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up. Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Okay, okay. Never asked. Oh, she's a sniper? I'm assuming. I don't want to assume, but I think she's a sniper. Kai has deployed. Okay, let's select Kai. Sniper! She is a sniper. Yes! The sniper class specializes in shooting down enemies from afar. And she definitely is my favorite. Zoom in and out during target mode by moving your right thumbstick up and down. Use the scope to line up headshots. Okay, so you actually do have to... Okay, so let's enter target mode. That's going to be R. So let's line it up. So we can zoom in. That's a headshot, right, guys? That, that's pretty pretty spot on. There we go. And then hit A to attack. There. Boom! That feels really good. Wow. So I really... So I can move still, but I can't fire anymore. So what we're going to do is... I, can, I can't enter target mode. But I see that that's another enemy. So what I can do... Let's see if I can go off this fence. I don't think I can. You can see, moving around uses our... Ga gauge, gauge. I always say gauge. I've grown up saying gauge, and I know it's gauge. We're gonna go ahead and end right here. It looks like there's another unit we're gonna have to take out from that range. We can go back to Raz. To still turn one. And I'm assuming this is where we wanna go. Sandbags! Sandbags in the field provide cover. Move behind a sandbag and press A when Crouch appears to take cover. Crouching makes a unit harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage. Take cover behind sandbags as you move. As I move. Oh. Do it just like you did in training. So now we're crouching. Now we're not behind sandbags anymore. I'm gonna try to get there, but I'm out of, I'm out of stamina. That's it. That's as far as I can get. I used a lot of my gauge running to the fence when I couldn't hop over it. CP and ending phases. Selecting a unit in command mode uses up one command point. CP reflects the number of times you can control a unit per player phase. When CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. So I've used all three CP. Uh, we can go ahead and press B to end that phase. Be mindful of your position before the enemy phase begins. So unfortunately, I didn't end behind a sandbag. So I'm kind of out in the open right now. Both my units are. Okay, they're moving around. Wow, I really like this how it cuts over. Because it's not just a typical, typical strategy game where you're controlling your units and moving them across the map. You actually gain control of them. All right, this is very different from anything I've played before. I'm surprised it's the fourth game and I've never had an experience with Valkyria Chronicles before, but it's definitely my type of game. Which is important to note, since this is the first impressions video, I might be more likely to like to enjoy this game. There we go, about time, Claude. Yeah, I know. 
Soldiers, forward. Okay. Now's our chance to take the offensive. So we're trying to take the offensive. Straight up. Sponsored by Valkyria Chronicles 4. The voice acting is good. Voice acting is very good, I have to say. CP and consecutive actions. Command points are replenished at the start of each player phase. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times in a row. This is useful for cutting into enemy lines, hurrying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last. CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over to the next. However you choose to manage CP will determine the fate of your squad. Mmm. So we have four CP now. So we have Kai, Nico, Curtis, Zyga, and Raz. So we can see they've got two units left. We can we can technically take Raz and run through. I do want to see if we can land a shot with Kai from over here. Tutorial aiming and weak points. Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. Use left to quickly aim, then bleh to line up a headshot. Okay, so you can use the D-pad to line up a headshot easily. Increase your chance of landing a hit by lining up your shot so that the target is well within the circle. To kill shows how many shots must connect to eliminate the target. This number indicates whether your shots will reach the enemy or if you're aiming at a weak point. Okay. Uh, using the D-pad actually makes it a lot easier to aim. So that's 100%. To kill one, we have one shot and one shot to kill. So we click A. Fire. Oh no, we didn't. I lied. But now now it's a little weaker. So I'm going to go ahead and take control of Raz. Right? And we can run up on him. We should be able to run up on him. Incoming. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know they would start doing that as I'm walking. That's amazing. I'm pretty pumped that that happened, actually. Okay. Took him out. The whole reason I wanted to unload the sniper shot first was I thought that that would make it so that I wouldn't have to be hurt. So we're going to end our current action here. And I think I'm going to choose Raz again. And I should be able to just light him up, right? Oh, that's not doing much. That only did 10 damage. Okay. All right. I learned my lesson. I'm going to go back to Kai. We have one more CP. I was hoping I'd finish it this turn, but I don't think I will. I don't think I'm talented enough. Okay, let's try to get that headshot. So we see that number change to kill two, but this is saying to kill one. So this connects, you'll be dead. Please connect, Kai. There. Kai, what are you doing? You whiffed. I actually really like that she can miss. Uh, it would have been, a, it probably would have made snipers way too OP, way too overpowered if I was able to just connect right away. Okay, so enemy's gonna go ahead. They have one unit left running towards me. I can't. Oh no, I can. Okay, so you do automatically interact with them. Oh, he's just running the line. Okay, car. Okay, car. Calm down. Fire back. There we go. There we go. Bottom right was their health. Okay, took out the last scout. That means we should be good. Imperials are nothing but scum. Oh, is that our tank? Please tell me that's our tank. Is that what Claude's in right now? Come on. Let, let it be with Claude's in right now. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that. The tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. No, it's not ours. Okay, so we need Claude to come through. Claude, come through! It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Okay, Miles. Yes, sir. I thought Miles was the dog for a second, and I was like, wow. The dog is firing up the engine. This game really is the best. Okay, so this is going to be... So now we're getting... We're slowly getting the introduction to everything. Tutorial for tanks. Tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can use your tanks as cover. That's smart. Tanks can destroy objects with a red X on the command mode map, either by firing a cannon or driving into them. Tanks cannot fit into narrow passages, so advance with infantry in such cases. Okay, cool. So, where's our tank? His tank is running down the line. Oh, please, Raz. Just stay alive. You're crouching. You're good. They're not coming near you. They're not coming near you. Oh, I think they're literally going to destroy you. We're fine. Never mind. We're Never mind. It wasn't for us. I thought I thought that was going to go right towards Raz's head. Okay, player phase. So, we have 5 CP. Where is... 
Where's our tank? Okay. Our name is Heffen. That's weird because they were calling him Cla uh, Claude before. Okay, so we can run this stuff over. I'm just gonna go ahead and body him. I'm gonna get. I don't, I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna get close, dude. Target mode. Tutorial tank warfare. Tanks have three methods of attack: armor piercing, AP shells, mortar rounds, and a mounted machine gun. Armor piercing shells are effective against tanks and other vehicles. Explosive mortars hit a broad area with a ragnet blast, ideal against infantry. Mortars travel in an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes to maximize firepower and preserve limited ammo. The machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press Y to switch to tanks' weapons. Okay, so we want AP rounds. They said AP is for tanks. So let's go ahead and make sure we have a bulk of you in the circle. I'm not going to aim at the top of you because I'm learning my lesson. Just want to make sure it's centered up. That's about centered. Let's fire away! Right there. Woo! Okay, we did a good amount of damage there, and that's all we can do. Let's end our current action. I could retreat a little bit, but I don't see the point. Okay. Now we can use the tank again. I'm really glad you can move the same unit multiple times. It's, yeah, this is really unique. That glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can deal damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. So should I try to do that right now? I feel like they're going to fire at me, though. Okay, I'm going to try to fire at him. I know we're super close, so I feel like this is totally not going to go well. Let's go for it! <laughs> it's a one-shot, baby! Operation complete. Okay, that's satisfying. That's 100% satisfying. Wow. It's really different. Really, really different. I like the combat. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? Squatty, don't take shit from nobody. <laughs> oh, Raz! Knows what I'm <laughs> oh, you okay? What's wrong? Oh, he's upset about the flowers. So in touch with his inner self. Didn't stand a chance. Feels bad. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. I mean, some of your underlings don't care about these flowers at all. Over flowers. Even little girls have bigger balls these days. <laughs> right, I love the writing in this game, 100%. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Raz, Raz, Raz is like... I'll head to the my favorite character right now. Obviously, we just started. Obviously, we just started. And tell the brass to send us tougher games to fight next time, yeah? But I think I think the the writing in this game so far has already shown that it's it, it could probably tug on my emotions, not like make me sappy, but get me invested in the characters if the writing is that consistently good and get like making the characters actually feel alive is something a lot of games fail to do. Northern Cross. Tutorial book mode. Discover the untold history of the Second European War by viewing this chronicle. Select a new episode to continue. All right, so let's continue. Tutorial saving. Open the menu by pressing X, save to record your progress. Anything can happen out there. Remember to save before, before, during, and after any combat operations. AKA maybe characters can die in this game. I don't know. I don't know if they can. I really don't want to find out. I'm not the kind of person that wants to find out. But uh, let's select the next chapter. Let's keep going. Prologue, Northern, Operation Northern Cross. Okay, we've already done this one, as you can see. Engagement at Milt. It has the symbol that it's going to be completed. Northern Cross Squad E. This is number three. Let's go to number three. View this episode. Yes. So the game is broken down into episodes in this journal. Okay. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. I also like the, like the photo, like the frame that it's giving all the characters. Oh. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission as opposed to just having the oh, the portraits i like that you're reporting too that's lieutenant to you claude don't get smart with me just because we share rank i've got seniority mm. <clears throat> sorry lieutenant minerva victor lieutenant minerva victor wait you don't where are we where are we headed where are we headed you always were a clever boy claude i think you've got it 
We're going to their main. Are we going to their main base of operations? The Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's the Imperial back. capital. Sponsored by Valkyria Chronicles Four. Operation Northern Cross. All right. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Okay, now we're getting all the backstory here. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. It's growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. Okay. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Okay. Just different, different sides of the same coin. soldiers fought and died on those fields struggling to make their ideals a reality ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future what follows here is a record of those brave warriors a record of that battle against the dark based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, wow I just got chills actually of the literally chicken skin squad e. It's cool that, like, this is all being read back to us through Claude's diary. I think that's super, super awesome. Oh, I love it. All right, all right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of invested. I'm kind of invested as a person, as a, as a player. So let's go ahead and let's start with our Advancing. tank. I wonder if I should try to get behind him right away. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get behind him right away. I'm gonna just gonna try to, I'm gonna try to lay into him real quick. 650. Okay, so we could do if we can get a little bit more damage on him. I probably could have gotten to your. Oh no, I can't. Can I not squeeze over here? I can. Okay, I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put my blue. Uh. My blue booty. I definitely could have destroyed this guy. I definitely could have. We're gonna end this current action. Woman, hear me roar. I am woman. Hear me roar. Yeah, this is definitely Lancer. So we're gonna go over. Potential. Done with men. Okay. So I'm probably actually just going to shoot it from here because I don't think I need to get behind it. Because we've already done some damage. Two shots to kill and we're going to have one shot. Okay, so let's let's back out. There we go. We can crawl now. Let's stand up. Let's take aim. And let's fire and make sure... Our accuracy is up, so we should be able to... Oh, we don't hit the blue, baby! At this point, I'm committed. Boom! Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Brittany, good job, Brittany! You're gonna crawl, and you're just gonna lay in the grass. We're gonna end your turn while you're laying there. Straight up. Let's check out Kai. It's much easier to use your D-pad when you're selecting your units. It's gonna take six shots to kill, but oh, we're gonna go for the headshot. Let's go for the headshot. Okay, we didn't get the headshot, but we got something. He didn't even react. That's how weak it was. Feels bad. So let's bring Raz in. We're gonna have Raz cover Kai. Accuracy is up. Ooh, baby. Okay, I don't think we're gonna stand there. I think we're gonna start moving away. Not that tank is gone. We're just gonna head around. Zyga, you can move in with 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 the boy you like. We do have grenades as well. 
We're gonna leave you right here for now. I don't want to. I don't want to go too far out. And then am I gonna end my phase? I'm out of CP, so yeah, let's end our phase. We're leaving our engineer to guard our base, which is probably not smart. They're shuffling around. I love how they show it on the map where they're moving, and then they show you in real time where they're headed and where their new position is in relation to you. Okay. Where are you come? Okay, there you go. You just ran right past Kai. Kai, you could have totally sniped him out. You could have totally sniped him out. Whoa! Right around the corner. You saw that? That was nice. That was cool. I like that. Wow, so you literally get rewarded. Let's okay, use Brittany let's for this tank. I feel like we're going to end up hitting the tank. Shots. What does it take? To kill is three. We're going to see if we can do it. Potential. Wait, why? Why accuracy down? It don't matter. We got it. Nice, Brittany. I think I'm just going to try to take that out for now. We have it. We can, we can use three of our CP on Brittany. Potential. Magic makeup. Oh my gosh. So much so much potential. Oh wow. I don't realize this guy was right here. You know, we're gonna keep focusing a tank. We're gonna try it. It says to kill. These rocks really just did that. That's how bad your accuracy is. Let's use Zyga. Check this out. We'll move Zyga in. Shots to kill, we have no idea. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's go. We're doing nothing to him! Snipers? See if we can snipe this guy from here. I definitely think she can snipe him. No, 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 no. Headshot, headshot. There we go. Right there. Broad side of the barn. What is going on? Oh, that's as far as we can throw it. Ah, oh, man. Really? Oh, let's see. Yeah. Let's let's see if this is gonna do damage. Is this gonna do any damage? Let's find out. We're here anyway. I did no damage. Did not reach. I repeat, did not reach. Nice. Okay, we got a nice shot on him. Sweet. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Calm down. He's facing you now, okay? Easy. Easy shot. Potential. Accuracy. Anti-personnel up. Let's go. Woo! That was a headshot, boys. That's awesome. We're going to capture this. Bam! Captured. They're not going to be too happy about that. Hey, why aren't I crouching? Crouch. You're not crouching, dude. Bruh. Okay, you can't crouch over this, uh, behind this thing. And now let's go ahead and take him out. Boom. I love that they explode. I love it. Didn't take much. Nah, not much. It's like 14 turns. It's fine. All right, Kai, let's see if you can capture this flag. Do you have enough AP to do it? Yeah, you do. Capture it, Kai. Do it. Nice. Enemy camp captured, and that should be. You're too well fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance. Oh no! I did all that work. What do you mean we can't advance? This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge them. Better than sitting here and dying, right? Are we retreating? No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. I really hope we don't retreat. For you to say, damn! If only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Come on now. Come on. Figure it out, Claude. Oh. It looks like you're in a tight spot, Cinderella. Who is this? Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale. All right, calm down, Raz. Calm down. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. Mmm. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? Secret army talk, guys. All about that fairy tale life. Well, I'm no godmother, but I can work some magic for you. Is this Claude's lady? Magic, huh? We could use a little. If it was real. Reinforcements have arrived. Who is this? Riley? Oh yeah, we can definitely take this guy out. Let's do that. Come on. Cool, that does a nice amount of damage. Cool. Ammo recovery. Okay. That's pretty swell. I just want to make sure it's still where it needs to be. Nope, it was too far over. Now we can go ahead and do this. One shot to kill. Boom! Better not screw this one up, Claude. Oh god. Ratata, Ratata! Stop! Oh, I'm stuck right there. Feels so
so bad. Question is, will this get both of them? It's an immediately curious bet. Let's find out. Take this. Boom! It got them both! Yes! Oh my gosh, Riley is OP! Capture it, Riley! You earned it! You earned it. You came out like a fairy tale. Sponsored by Valkyria Chronicles 4. Her rank was D. That's a yikes, dude. That's a yikes. I wonder why. I wonder what I did so poorly. I don't know. It did take me a long time, actually, the amount of phases. I'm sure it should be quicker, uh, but I'm learning. So after my first impressions, the whole point of this series was to go ahead and give you guys my impressions of this game. Uh, if you like strategy, if you like a really cool twist on it because it's real action as well because you control the units that you choose. You don't just position them and click and watch the enemies go. You actually control them while you're reloading, while you're moving. The other enemies can fire at you. There's counterattacks. Really, really cool. Uh, if you like good characters, because I know it's really early on to tell, but I really like just seeing some of the characters and the way they speak and the way they're written. It seems really, really good. It's not corny or cheesy. It seems very realistic, especially uh, with Hothead over there. So really, really like that. Overall, I would suggest this game. I'm going to continue playing it for sure. And that's going to be it for the first episode of First Impressions with Shady Penguin. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, once again, thank you so much, Valkyria Chronicles 4, for sponsoring this video. Of course, kicking off our First Impressions series with the sponsors. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what other games you want to see me play on this series. So before you buy, I can try and you can see if it's worth. With that, I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.